Hi guys, this is a newbie tackling the Zeroli Corsair. I think this is episode 12 and today I'm going to be squirting some silver nitrate paint onto the ailerons. And so um, here's, here's the left aileron and I'll need to, I'll probably need to remove this thing. Um, but you can see that there's some details in here uh, uh, that is basically just built up primer um, to uh, basically do a smoke and mirror job on uh, there being some uh, paint tapes uh, put on the real aileron. Um, this is the, the boost tab which connects up to a push rod here. Um, which is connected hard to a hard mount on the wing uh, eventually. So these got mounted up last night. Those look good. Um, this is an unmoving trim tab back here. And uh, you can see, take a look at the, the detail of the, the, the clovis here. Um, can't really take credit for that. These things are bought from some guy in Switzerland. Uh, like I said, I'll be taking that off. Uh, the bottom side um, has these little bubble things which are uh, covers for the, the full, on the full scale they are covers for the, the, the hinge points. And so here's the left one, whoops, still need to do a little sanding, good thing I checked. So we'll take a look at this and we'll get to that in a little bit. First thing I want to talk about though is, is the stuff I'm going to be using. Um, th these are things I got from Aircraft Spruce. Uh, this is Randolph's uh, non-tightening uh, nitrate clear. And, uh, and then this is, this is aluminum paste and I've never used this stuff before. And when they say paste, they're not kidding. That, that's very pasty stuff in there. So um, it says to mix four ounces of this to one gallon of the nitrate. Actually, it says butyrate, but uh, I'm going to mix it with nitrate and hope for the best. So uh, four ounces to one gallon is basically one to uh, 32. Um, I'm going to mix up one ounce of this, which is roughly 28 grams, to one gram of this, which would be a 28 to 1 mixture, uh, and hope for the best. I'll be using um, my one of my, this is going to be bay leaves, let's see. Mm, yeah, so I'm going to have some bay leaf scented dope. That's the plan. Let's see how it goes. Set that to zero. Pour in what will hopefully be somewhere in the neighborhood of 28 grams worth. Well, well, that's 32 and a half grams. <laughs> so. If I put in one gram of the silver, it'll be perfect. The question is, how do you get one gram of this stuff? I don't know. Popsicle stick? No idea. Well, okay. That apparently is about a gram. A little bit more than a gram. So I'm back probably to my 28.6 to 1 mix ratio. Boy, that is very silver looking. Okay which can't be bad. Uh, 
All right, so we'll mix that half and half with nitrate thinner. I get 33 grams on there. So looking for 66, 67. That's almost there. Yeah, we overshot it a little bit. So it'll be a little bit thin. All right. Quick, who knows it? There it is. Okay, so we've got uh, silver coated Baileys. I think we're about ready to go. I'm going to be shooting with a touch-up gun. This is an HVLP gun that I got from Harbor Freight. Uh, it's got a regulator down here. I've set it for <clears throat> I've set this for 30 psi, but I've also got it tuned down just a little bit with this regulator, so I'm probably more like 20 psi. Um, and I may end up doing some adjustments uh, during the spraying process. We'll see. So. Uh, I'll get back to you in a little bit. So <clears throat> I thought I'd show a little bit of what I'm doing for prep work. Uh, everything's been basically dialed in and is nice and smooth. Uh, but right before I shoot, I think what I'm going to do, I'll, I'll run one of these. This is, uh, uh, I don't know, I get these at the auto parts store and I've got a whole series of them. The 220 though, you know, I've been using this quite a bit so it's probably more like, I don't know, 400, 500. Um, and I went over this uh, just to give it that final last, you know, God, I hope everything is smooth enough. I really want this paint job to turn out good. I hope this helps. Call it insurance, if you will. Don't really know. I don't have a lot of painting experience. Um, so uh, much of what happens today is an experiment for me. Uh, I always use some kind of grease and wax remover. This one's uh, from Custom Colors. And uh, for years I used something called Acrylicleen. Uh, which works great as well, uh, but I bought a bunch of stuff from Custom Colors, and uh, this is part of it. So, what I'll do is get get it all wet, moist, just lightly rub everything, and this is kind of like a pre-cleaning before I shoot. Um, I'll put on latex gloves and I'll clean everything again and then hit it with a tack cloth and uh, that'll happen just before cleaning or just before shooting. So I'll finish cleaning up here uh, and then I actually I need to figure out some way to hold this aileron um, during shooting. During priming it's one thing to you know, be a little bit sketchy about how how you're holding something, um, but I need to I need to create something that goes into the hinge hinges, comes out the hinge line um, on the back side, and uh, maybe ties in, gives me some kind of a handle to try and hold on to this. Uh, I've, I've thought about it many times, but I keep not making it, and so here I am. I'm ready to shoot, and I don't have the thing I need in order to hold the aileron in place. So uh, I'm going to take a break and go make that happen later. Alright guys, we're back. I have fashioned a, a handle that uh, my hinge pin here goes through and goes through um, the two G10 thingies there uh, in order to, and then it's just something simply put together 
we've got silver in the gun and we'll blow it off a little bit here and then uh, well, again, no guts no glory right I'm going to put the trim tab in the down position hopefully get a little paint on that on that radius right there right, here we go Put a nice light coat on there. I did a test panel uh, a few minutes ago, and uh, that turned out okay. So this is the down position. One of the things I do not like about this gun, see this little handle right here? This is another pressure regulator. And my fingers hit it all the time. Some nice light coat. Alright. Now I think I've said before that I am not a professional painter. All right. Well, we have silver. It definitely shows flaws. And uh, the question is whether or not those flaws are going to be a problem on the final airplane since it would be one thing if I was building a pattern plane or a race plane. But this airplane is going to get, ah oh, it's going to get scratched up, it's going to get chipped and beat on all before I ever even start the motor for the first time. So I suspect that whatever flaws I'm seeing I'm probably going to live with. that coat makes it look pretty good. Most of the flaws I'm seeing are up in this area where you can't see um, anything on on the real aileron. When this thing is on the airplane you'll never see this leading edge. A couple flaws in here. I'm going to struggle to care but we'll see. As time goes on I may care more. Anyway, that looks like it covers really nice. Uh, and you can see all the detail. Unfortunately, you can see all the detail. Anyway, that's it for now. Later.